A lot of us who enjoy gardening also enjoy having butterflies in our garden. They give us a lot of color as they flutter around and they just sort of add that magical element to the garden. Well, you may be curious to know that butterflies, once they metamorphosize from the caterpillar into the adult butterfly state, they only live for a few days. Many species only live for just a few days. There are some butterflies that live longer, like the monarch butterfly. It can live from seven to eight months. And of course, the monarchs are those large black and orange butterflies that we see around our gardens a lot here in Oklahoma. It's very spectacular to see in the fall when the monarchs make their migration through Oklahoma, down through the south and into Mexico, just a few localized spots where they overwinter. But because the monarchs live for such a longer period of time, they need to have some sort of defense against predators like birds. And the monarch butterflies do have a defense and they get it from the plants they feed on as caterpillars. Now you might be thinking, well, how can something as gentle and, and fragile as a butterfly have a defense system? But uh, they really need those to keep the uh, birds from feeding on them. Right here, we've got some of the plants that the caterpillars of the monarch butterflies feed on. And they feed exclusively on plants in the Asclepius family, or the milkweeds. We've got one right here. This is the tropical butterfly weed. And we talked about this earlier in the year on our program, but this is one of those milkweeds that the uh, monarchs feed on. And it does have that milky sap. You can break those, those leaves apart. And uh, usually they have a little bit of milky sap that will, will come out. We can try one down here on this species. Sometimes you can see that, yeah, a little bit of milky sap kind of beating up there on the plant. Well, the compounds in this sap, known as cardinolides, are toxic, and the caterpillar will eat those, eat the leaves, and ingest those cardinolides. It will store those in its tissue, and then whenever the caterpillar turns into an adult butterfly, the adult butterfly is also toxic. Now, when the birds eat the butterflies, it doesn't kill the bird, but it will make them sick. In fact, the bird will usually vomit for about 30 minutes. And if you look right down here, you can see one of these species of, of milkweeds, and you can see a caterpillar of a monarch with those antenna on the front there, that green and white and black colored caterpillar feeding on this milkweed. Now this particular species is one known as the antelope horns, and right here is what the flowers look like. They're not all that showy. I think they're kind of interesting though, kind of a green and purplish color. But uh, one of the species of Asclepius that the monarchs feed on. And the plants seem to expect the feeding of the caterpillars because that same milky sap that makes the uh, butterflies toxic also acts as sort of a sealant. Once the uh, leaf is wounded, that milky sap will sort of seal over those leaves and sort of protect the rest of the plant. But uh, the birds that come across a monarch butterfly, they eat it and they get sick, and then they learn to leave those butterflies alone. In fact, some birds, once they sort of learn which butterflies to eat, they will sort of bite off the very wingtip and sort of taste the butterfly to make sure it's not poisonous, and that way they won't get sick. Well, some other interesting facts about milkweeds I want to share with you. You can see on this one, there's some little yellow insects feeding. Those are aphids. So if you plant some of these milkweeds in your garden, they sort of act as a trap plant for the aphids. And the aphids feeding on them doesn't seem to bother the milkweed all that much. It's sort of that same sap that seals off the wounds of the caterpillars also will seal off the wounds of the aphids. So the aphids will be drawn to these plants and they won't harm your other plants. Also the seeds of the milkweed are very interesting. They occur in these pods and then once they're ripe the pods split open like you can see right here and they carry the seeds in these fibers and they blow blow to other places to uh, let, the, let the plants germinate and get started. But the fibers also have commercial applications. 
back during World War II, the United States had the supply of KPOC from the Philippines was cut off and the government would actually collect the pods of milkweeds to harvest the fibers, to stuff in life vests, in mattress, uh, use as helmet liners and things like that. But the uh, fibers are very buoyant. You can see as they kind of blow around here. Uh, I've even heard where some people compare the buoyancy to that of helium. But uh, an interesting fact about the milkweeds, the use of their fibers and the use of the plant as a great host plant for the monarch butterfly.